right, Gemini, what is going on for you guys? This is a little weekly reading. If you're looking for your 2024 forecast, I'm going to put a link here below or above <laughs> uh, to that uh, playlist. If you want to take a look at the forecast, I brought in a lot of astrology. It's not a comprehensive astrology reading. Uh, it is tarot and astrology. So I just highlight some things you might want to be paying attention to. Also, what's happening as we move uh, through January and into February, we are going to be expanding our Pathfinder group. Uh, I am going to be teaching every week a little lesson on the on the back end of Pathfinders about opening to intuition. So every week or every week we're going to be doing that. Uh, if you want to jump on to Pathfinders, this would be a particularly good time to do that. So let's see where we go for Gemini. What wants to come out for Gemini? I've been seeing this a lot. Uh, affluence. New beginnings. Whoopsie, come on back here. Friendship. What's going on there? And protection. Um, some of you are recognizing that you've got some pretty good friends. OK, some of you may need your friends to get through a situation. Uh, they're going to be there for you. I, I just feel like you are uh, wealthy beyond beyond your wildest dreams with the friends you've created, the friendships you've created. I do feel like there is something going on. Um, there is a need for these friends. And, you know, we don't just uh, put friendships together when we need them, right? Like we're cultivating friendship. Uh, we're working with, um, and doing, you know, working with our lives, moving, moving through our lives. And every once in a while we come across a situation where we really need our friends and, and they have our backs and that's how you tell, right? If somebody is really a friend is if when you need them, they're there. And you can, and I don't think you're doing this, but uh, I feel like somebody uh, who's listening has learned that lesson that maybe they were either um, completely the one who's always being asked to help. And then when you need them, the other friend isn't there, like something like that. Some of you have experienced that recently. And, you know, I feel like now it's just like really grateful for the friends that are showing up for us. OK, and we are showing up for them, too. So let's see what's going on here for the reading. Hmm. OK. Oh, wow. Look at this friendship again. Big change is happening. The death card. The judgment card. The three of pentacles the four of swords and the 10 of pentacles. So I like the direction this is going in. I'm kind of getting a sense of, I don't know, maybe some of you could be either going into business with a friend or some of you could have not gone into business with a friend. And that was a really good idea. Uh, some of you are healing um, from other parts of your life other things have happened or other changes have happened. Okay. People passing away in your life, like literally passing away, um, jobs, careers come and go, um, lovers come and go, come and go. There's something about a marriage, you know, either, um, starting off on a good foot because it's was built on friendship. OK, something that was built on friendship is going in a really good direction. And I also feel like there are some of you who are seeing how good your friends are, how really um, important your friends are in your life. I'm going to clarify this protection because I get the death card and protection. So there is some big change happening here, some kind of some kind of timeline shift some kind of timeline shift. So let's see where we're going here. Knight of Wands. I'm just going to lay this out and then we'll talk about it. The Emperor. Page of Cups. I think I hear Charlie growling. He's afraid of the gingerbread sleigh that I... <laughs> okay. Uh, Knight of Wands, the Emperor, the Page of Cups. I'll talk you through this in a second. There's your card. Gemini, the lovers, the seven of pentacles, 
the Wheel of Fortune, the Queen of Cups, the Fool, and the Knight of Swords. Okay, so I feel like some of you are making a big change, or there is a big change ahead. These are cards of... Um, of signposts, of guideposts, of like, it's time to make a change, it's time to make a shift. Some of you Geminis are very, very psychic uh, and you can feel this change coming, okay? So there's, um, it's almost like uh, a new timeline, a brand new timeline coming in. And it's because something else has ended, this death card, okay? There is something ending in your life that is like freeing you. Okay. This definitely this fool card makes me feel that way. When this change comes through, I think it's going to be fast. I think there'll be some fast changes made and you can have, um, I just, I mean, I've been getting this for a while. I, I feel like there's somebody standing in the way of this new path. Either friends that don't want you to go, like they want to hold on to you or something like that. And I, I don't, I, it's like, it doesn't need to be like that. I'm not going to leave you. But I feel like physically you leave. There's a physical movement. We've got the, pay, the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords, the two fastest moving uh, knights. And we also have this, uh, the Fool card here. Now, this makes me feel that it could have been, I mean, this change could have been in the works for quite a while. I, I do feel like because the Seven of Pentacles is in the middle, this is like a timing card and this is the Wheel of Fortune is um, divine timing and the Judgment card here, or sorry, the Judgment card over here, the Lover's card is your card. So this is really something that you have been preparing for for a while. I don't know that your friends or family really even know about it. Some of them do. Some of them do. You might have told you might have told a few people that you're planning something, but we'll we'll uh, we'll dive deeper into this. Um, it it's possible that there's somebody in your life who uh, I don't want to say needs to go, but I feel like they're they're somebody who's kind of like. It's almost like they're standing on your cape, okay? And I think you have an opportunity to really grow and and do everything you want to do in this life, affluence, uh, go in the direction that is a healed direction for you that's going to be very uh, abundant in all ways, shape or form, in all ways, okay? All ways, Um there is somebody standing on your cape right now, the emperor here. And this can be an indicator of a timeline where it was important for you to take that person's advice or almost like be in their shadow, something like that. That was the reason for this relationship. Maybe as a friend who's let me see. Let me clarify the emperor, please. Queen of swords. Five of swords. Yeah. Magician. There's Mercury for you. And the nine of swords. I, I feel like... I feel like some of you may have a frenemy, may have somebody in your life who's not really... doesn't really have your best interest at heart, who isn't really standing up for you. And you may fully, completely uh, release that person from your life. Others of you, this is a love partner who has, is become, um, it's just going in a different direction, okay? I just feel like they're going in a different direction. Very, very, I'm going to, this is going to seem kind of woo-woo, but I'm going to say it anyway. This person is not very spiritually oriented, um, they don't know what that's about. They, maybe they're afraid of it. Maybe they feel, they fear it, that you're really expanding and growing. I feel like they're, they're afraid you're going to leave them behind, but at the same time they're leaving themselves behind. This person doesn't get that 
their time with you has kind of come to a close. And I feel like you see it, okay? I feel like you see it. And I almost feel like this person has done some things to keep you in one place, or right? Like you're kind of aware of it now. There is some kind of awakening or awareness that uh, during Mercury retrograde, this is Mercury and this is your ruling planet. Um, there were some kind of shenanigans. Now, others of you, you're really seeing that you're the one that's holding yourself back. I just feel like people want to keep you where you are, but that's not the path you're going in. Okay, that's not the path you're going in. It would be nice to just kind of keep these people on on standby or something, but I don't think that's really fair. Right? And I don't think you're wanting to do that. I think you're wanting to grow and move on. Um, so this choice, this wheel of fortune, this choice point, this uh, timeline is a very different one. Five of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, King of Cups, yeah, and the King of Pentacles. I just feel like you're going in such a different direction. I feel like you're this King of Pentacles. You might have somebody in your life, a water sign, a water sign or an Aries, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I see Sag here. There's something here about like this person can't hang, okay? Financially, this person can't hang. Like you're really wanting to travel and do all kinds of stuff and they can't do it, okay? The affluence is coming through into your life, Gemini, in a big way. And the other person's isn't, all right? It's going in the opposite direction. I feel like there is, now this just might be for a small portion of you, Geminis. You might be helping somebody who is a little bit manipulative in order to keep you around. It's, it's almost like it's well-meaning, like it's not trying to hurt you or anything. This person wants to keep you around and um, I just don't think they're giving very much to the relationship with you. I don't think so. I don't think so. And it, this person even could be a friend or could be a lover or could be a spouse even, could even be a parent. And they're still trying to hold on to the old way, the old dominant, um, the old uh, way the relationship worked. I feel like you've healed something about your affluence, something about your abundance. You've healed that. And this person has stayed the same. Okay, so that person could be that King of Cups, King of Cups, Queen of Cups. Let's talk about the Fool here. Ace of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, and the Temperance card. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you're going to have to, you're going to have to close out of a relationship to go in the direction of your future. I think that scares some of you. I think that's why some of you have stood still for a while. I don't really want to do that. I want to stay with this person or I want to stay in the possibility of this person. I think you could keep them as a friend. All right. Um, but I also think that that might, for some of you, there needs to be a clean break. Ten of swords. Like you can't be in both situations. You can't stay with this person and move into your future. You cannot, uh, this person is a knight. Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, or sorry, Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. No Knight of Cups. The Page of Cups is here. The Page of Cups is here, King and Queen of Cups. I just feel like that, that might feel super stagnant to you. Whatever's going on here, it feels super stagnant. And um, this person is trying to keep you around with like, hey, this is what we could do, but you're already headed down the road to a new timeline, something that is more in keeping with what you envision for your life, okay? There's some choice points coming up. Two of Cups. Six of Cups. 
Ten of Wands. Yeah, I keep getting this. I keep getting, there's the Knight of Cups. I keep getting this, that this past life soulmate is offering you, they're offering you love. I do think they're offering you love, but I also think that you're the one who has to do everything in order for this to work. And I think no longer are we going to be doing that. I've seen this before. There's a past life soulmate here who kind of wants you to continue to do all the work or wants you to be the one that is like, you know, keeping everything together and supporting everybody and doing all of the work in a big way. And that energy needs to be channeled in a different direction. Okay. I think you're going in the direction of something really amazing. And the reason this, this part of the reading or the, the reason this is taking up so much time in the reading is because it's not a, it's not just a small person in your life. It's somebody fairly significant. And that might be um, really challenging. Okay. So I think there is, there does need to be a clean break. And I think this person has other, not opportunities, but other uh, paths that they need to go walking. I think that they're not in alignment with you at all. And the longer you stay connected to this person, the more you're going to feel like out of alignment or you're going to feel like you're not doing the thing you're here to do. You're not really serving your calling. You know, there's going to be this feeling that I'm being held back. This person is standing on your cape. Okay, so I will continue on. I'll get uh, pull a card for each zodiac sign to give you some idea. And I just think there's really good things ahead, but this is not going to be small. Okay, this might be fairly significant. All right, link is below. Gemini, if you want to continue on with me, I'll see you over there. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.